This video talks about how you might use the Journal of Chemical Education website to go about looking for potential laboratory experiment projects. So first thing, open your favorite browser and point it to pubs.acs.org. This is the American Chemical Society's website for their publications. The American Chemical Society publishes a number of journals that are all listed here in this section. These represent the important journals publishing American chemical science. And um, in most cases, publications go back to the beginning of each of these journals. So this makes for an interesting history of chemistry as well. So a lot of important um, advances in chemistry are published in the pages of these journals. So we're going to focus our attention on the Journal of Chemical Education because we're looking for laboratory experiments that would be appropriate for um, undergraduates. So click on Journal of Chemical Education. Now there are a number of interesting articles in here, but we're going to want to look for particular kinds of um, articles. So notice that here the highlighted recently as soon as publishable articles that there are some that are identified as laboratory experiments. So that might be a good place to start searching. So we have two search options up here in the upper right hand corner. So we can search in this journal. Notice it's selected because otherwise you'll search all American Chemical Society publications and you can search anywhere in the article or specific locations like the title, the author, the abstract, that sort of thing. There's also an advanced search option that will allow you to add multiple search terms. Um, you can use Boolean strings. Um, you can search titles, authors, all of these at the same time. You can also restrict your searches for particular places like all journals. That's what's selected now or just a specific publication date range. So um, I'm going to suggest that we search for laboratory experiment. Um, we're going to search anywhere in the article. And um, let's go ahead and put that in quotes because we would like it to find articles where both of those words occur together. Then we're going to go down here to modify selection and we're going to search in just the Journal of Chemical Education. So we want to select that, then click update. And you'll notice here now we're just searching in the Journal of Chemical Education. Under publication date, you can select any range you want. Um, starting in the late 90s, early 2000s, the Journal of Chemical Education started requiring that all authors also include what would be the equivalent of a laboratory handout guidelines that would be given to students with any published experiment. So um, that will be really helpful to you. So you might want to restrict yourself to just looking at those kind of articles. And so I'm going to select um, a custom range or select last. And um, so this just goes back a year. So we want more than that. All right. So custom range. So we're going to go from year 2000 let's say up to year 2017 and that looks good so we're going to click on search all right so this brings us up to our search results so notice that we have pulled um, 1257 articles and so it's showing us the first 20 of those we can sort by relevance we can also sort by date if you would like to have them listed by date over here we can restrict them to particular authors, particular manuscript types, like is it a research article, a meeting report. Um, this will be less useful to us. Um, there's also subject area. So if you know you would like to do uh, something having to do with biochemistry or biological topics or other kinds of standard topics, you can select on those and pull up those specific articles. So if you notice as we're reading down, some of these articles have labeled next to the publication date, an identification that indicates they are a laboratory experiment. So those are the ones you want to key in on. So this next one is simply, uh, it says it's an article, um, but it says, it does say it's an undergraduate student laboratory experiment. So that might also be useful, but clearly the ones that are labeled laboratory experiment, those are the kinds that, of things that you want to look for. 
So as you're going through, you might want to um, find something that you're interested in. So here's one that talks about liquid liquid extraction of insecticides from juice, an analytical chemistry laboratory experiment. Um, another thing that we might do is we might want to add an extra search term and just include general chemistry in quotations or introductory chemistry in quotations to make sure that you're getting labs that are appropriate to your level. Now it is very possible that you could do projects that are at a higher level and then you'll get to learn new and interesting stuff. So let's go back to this article. So I'm concerned about you know drinking insecticides in my juice so maybe I'm interested in looking at this kind of project. So this was published in uh, 2013. So if you uh, select this, it will keep it in a, link, a list for you, the check mark next to the article. We can click on the article or go directly to one of the full text articles. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the article. We'll bring up the record. So um, this gives you information about where it was published and so forth. Over here, article options, you can select to view it in different forms. The ACS ActiveView PDF is the most full featured, lets you have annotations, links to references, that kind of thing. Um, you can look at it in HTML and that's what's going to be published here. Do note that you need to be logged in to our campus network so that the American Chemical Society knows that you have a subscription to the journals. Otherwise it will not bring up one of these full text article links. So make sure you're logged in with your computer onto our campus network. You can still search on any network, you just can't view the full text articles. So um, down here, this is the abstract. So this is a quick and dirty uh, description of what this experiment is about. So it says a laboratory experiment was developed targeting analytical chemistry students to teach them about insecticides and in food, the process of sample extraction, and cleanup. And so it goes through and describes the method that they used. And then here's some key words that also might be useful to you in looking for similar kinds of articles. Uh, you can also look at all references that cite this article if you want to find other articles that might have similar ideas or um, be referenced to this article. Um, an important thing, in addition to reading the original paper, um, you will want to find this link that says supporting information. So if we click on that link, it takes us here, and it says what it is. It is a student handout, laboratory notes, and sometimes you will see instructor's notes and other kinds of information. So that will be very useful to you in trying to conduct this or a very closely related project. So um, you would want to look at the student handout. So be sure to download that as well as the original article. So there's a quick overview as to how you might go about using the American Chemical Society publications website to search for potentially interesting laboratory projects.